Hello, this reading uh, for today is from Luke chapter 22 and starting at verse 7. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Where do you want us to prepare for it? they asked. He replied, As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters, and say to the owner of the house, the teacher asks, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, all furnished. Make preparations there. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them, so they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfilment in the kingdom of God. Jesus knew by this time that one of his disciples, one of his own followers, was about to betray him and hand him over to be arrested. Therefore Jesus, because he eagerly desired to eat the Passover with his disciples before all of this happened, kept the, seek, the location secret, even from his own disciples, until the last moment. He just told Peter and John to go into the city, and there they would see a man carrying water, and that man would lead them to the place where the Passover would be held. Um, and Jesus instructed Peter and John to go there and to make preparations in that house. Once Peter and John actually found the location, they made the preparations which will have been done according to the Jewish tradition. So what they would have done is that they would have taken a lamb or a goat, a year old male without defect, and they will have slaughtered that goat or that lamb. Uh, sprinkling some of the blood or smearing some of the blood onto the doorposts of the house where the meal was to be taken. This was in accordance with the Jewish Passover. Um, what they would then have done would be to roast the meat um, along with bitter herbs and along with unleavened bread to remind them of the slavery in Egypt and they would have prepared the meal um, in accordance with the Jewish traditions to take place in the Passover. Uh, later on in the evening or in the night, Jesus would have come and joined with Peter and John along with all of the other disciples and they will have sat down, or uh, as it says, reclined at the table to eat the Passover meal. Um, although it kind of gives an, an impression of reclining at the table, I mean, the, we have to remember that the Jewish tradition was, is that the Passover meal is always eaten in haste. So it's to be eaten with your cloak tucked into your belt, which suggests you're about to run or flee. Um, it's to be eaten with your sandals on. And it's to be eaten with your staff in your hand. All of this to remind uh, the Jewish people of their bondage in slavery and how God delivered them from slavery. So the disciples would have come and they would have been ready now with Jesus to eat the meal. And Jesus said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover meal with you. I think it was really amazing that Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, uh, in the hours that came, he was going to be arrested, he was going to be crucified, um, and all that was about to take place. And knowing that he was in fact going to be betrayed by one of his own disciples, one of his own followers, and yet Jesus himself said, I have eagerly desired to eat this meal with you. 
before I suffer. I would now like to invite you to join with me in a short prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you that you have suffered for us. You are our Passover lamb who takes away the sin of the world. Thank you that you eagerly desire for us to be with you. Help us today to choose to serve you in sincerity and truth. In Jesus' name, Amen.